Hello and welcome back to Universal Information and Entertainment TV. In this video, I am sharing a very good idea to repair and hack the faulty intelligent battery to make it usable again for free and within around 5 minutes of this trick. Let me explain the problems first. As you can see when I press the power button on the drone with faulty battery then drone is not responding or not turning the power on. I just replaced the working battery into drone and turning its power on. As you can see the drone turn on properly. Let me show you again with faulty battery. The reason to show it again to making it sure that it's a battery problem. Doesn't work. As you can see it again that it does not work and it means it's a battery problem. I have already done this experiment on this same battery. I was successful then I decided to share this hack and trick with everyone. First of all you will have to open battery casing. To open the casing you will have to use sharp tool like blade with extra care. As I just said that I have already fixed this battery, but I made this battery in same faulty position to show on YouTube to explain it clearly. As soon as you have taken out the battery pack as showing on screen. The connections are shows at the moment are on original condition. Black cable is negative, blue or green is for battery 1 for balance charge and yellow or green is for battery 2 balance charge and finally red is on the left for positive. You can see on circuit board that it's showing the connection labels as well. The circuit board has fault on it that's why circuit board is not passing right current. The small electric components have fault somewhere which is not possible to diagnose it. I have seen another video on YouTube who is showing to remove all the components and put the new four wires on PCB. The person took 45 minutes to do it on YouTube and was lengthy and difficult process, but I am showing you a very easy trick. But please continue watching this video because I will also show you the reason and proper details as a free lesson which is very useful for your future repairs as well. Now I will show you the trick which is very easy and reliable. What you need to know that bypass its circuit board with just one wire. As you can see on screen the black cable or negative battery wire has soldered on PCB. Let me explain and prove it using a multimeter. You will be able to see exact problem what I will show you now. Please use the multimeter on DC current and set it to 20 volts. As you can see that I am checking battery's voltage from its direct connections. It's showing 12.54 volts. It means that battery is fully charged. And now I show you that how many volts are passing through from this faulty PCB board. Please note that these connections are supplying same battery voltages through these connections where I am checking voltages. As you can see that the faulty board is passing 6.26 volts only which is not enough to turn the power on of this drone. This Hubsan Xenu Pro model works with 3's battery which should be over 11 volts. 3's means that this battery pack has 3 cells and each cell has 3.7 volts, so total volts should be 11.1 volt each 3's battery. The fully charged 3's battery will show more than 12 volts in total. As you can see that I just checked again the battery connections. It's showing 12.54 volts, but the upper connection is showing 6.27 volts. The circuit board is not passing full current. All we need to do is to send the proper current to that point which is not getting full 12.54 volts. To do it, just connect the negative wire to upper point, which is showing less voltage.
As you have seen that I moved the negative wire to upper connection of this circuit board to bypass the current. Now I will show you again that the proper voltage is going through to its drone's connector. Now you are able to see that drone's connector is showing 12.54 volts. It means the drone should work now and should fly as normal. All you need to do that to make a bridge with another wire to join it on top connection, which I am indicating. Or just remove this black cable from its original joint and rejoin it to top point, which I am showing on screen now. This process will bypass the circuit board and then your battery will be normal again for recharge. And also it will work in the drone normally and without any fault. I am reassembling this battery now to test it in the drone whether it works or not. The battery is almost ready. Now it's the time to test in the drone. I am turning the power on of this drone. As you can see and hear the beep sound, it means that drone is powering up as it should be. Now I am showing you one more thing. I am opening the battery again to show you, and then going to connect it to charger to prove it that it works as normal in the charger as well. As you can see on screen that charger is charging to this battery as normal. Now I will use this battery again into the drone to show you the flight and mobile app screen. connecting this drone to mobile app. It's almost ready to connect then I will show you the flight. I need to disable the GPS to enable this drone to fly indoor and without GPS. Let me do it please. GPS has been disabled and now unlocking the propellers. It seems to me working fine and normal. But let me fly indoor to make it sure. I am pretty sure that you will 100% like this video and also will share it on other social medias. Also please do not forget to subscribe my channel to get further useful videos, news and entertainments. Thanks for watching Universal Information and Entertainment TV. Please like and subscribe our channel for more updated videos, news, information and entertainment. See you in next video. Stay tuned.